Here is the latest on xtalks.com. A small clinical trial has found that patients with type 1 diabetes who were given an additional insulin injection three hours after consuming a meal may have a decreased risk of developing cardiovascular disease. As cardiovascular diseases, including heart attack and stroke, are the number one cause of death among patients with type 1 diabetes, the findings could help patients better manage the condition. Hello, I'm Sarah Hand, editor and webinar moderator for xtalks.com, and welcome to this edition of xtalks Vitals. Currently, individuals with type 1 diabetes rely on insulin injections after meals to regulate their blood glucose levels. While the dose of insulin is calculated based on the carbohydrate load of the meal, patients don't take the fat content into account when deciding how much insulin to inject. Since lipids from food are more slowly metabolized compared to carbohydrates, they can increase blood glucose levels in the long term and contribute to the development of cardiovascular disease. Ten men with type 1 diabetes were involved in the small clinical trial in which they were fed three meals, one with a low fat content and two meals with a high fat content. All three meals contained the same amount of carbohydrates and protein in order to control for their potential confounding factors on blood glucose. Following consumption of the low-fat meal and one of the high-fat meals, the patient self-administered insulin shots based on the amount of carbohydrates in the meal. Three hours after eating the second high-fat meal, the study participants self-administered an additional dose of insulin that was 30% of the original postprandial dose. After analyzing a series of blood samples collected from the patients every 30 minutes until the six-hour post-meal mark, the researchers found that glucose, lipid, and inflammatory marker levels were all elevated. However, after the additional insulin injection, as with after consumption of the low-fat meal, the measured blood markers were stabilized. If future large-scale clinical trials confirm these results, recommendations for disease management could be updated to include additional doses of insulin. Subscribe to the Xtox YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below and visit xtox.com for more information on this story and others like it in the life science industry.